Oi friends, today we'll be starting to create some assets for our map. I'll split this up into three videos. We'll create some nature assets, then we'll create some kind of buildings like urban assets, and then we'll create some props like benches, barrels, and so. So firstly, I'll delete both the um, camera and the light. We don't need those. And we'll want to create some kind of a scale for a character. So I'll enable snapping here. You can do that by pressing shift tab or just clicking on it. Uh, I'll press one on my numpad and move this up. Well, go into edit mode and then move this up. And then I'll press S shift Z to scale it like this. So this is roughly the size of our character in Unity. Two units tall by roughly one unit in width. And I'll rename it to scale. First thing I want to create is a flat surface. Uh, my map will be kind of a deserty map and it will mostly be flat. And I might add some uh, background mountains later, but for now this will do. I'll add a plane, and if you imported this plane into Unity, it will actually be 2x2. Two two. Um, just keep that in mind, and then I can press N, go to item, and then uh, I can change the scale in here. So you can see the scale in Unity of this is 1, but in Unity it will be 2, so just keep that in mind. I think I'll go for like 35, uh, and uh, you can just click this one, hold it, and drag down to change all the values. Uh, so I think I'll go with something like this. I think that will be like 70 in Unity, which is good enough. And I want this to have a bit of a low poly look. So I'll go into edit mode and I'll subdivide about seven times. I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. And then I'll go to mesh, transform, randomize. And then down here in this kind of a pop-up menu, you can change the amount to something like 0 0.001 maybe. I think that's too little, so I'll go for 0 0.025. And you can see it gives you kind of a nice low poly look for the ground. Okay, I'll rename this to ground, and we have one asset made. Next, I think I'll create some cliffs, because I'll want to probably place some cliffs, cliffs around it. Uh, just so it looks cool, I think it fits with the desert. And the way I like to do this, uh, of course for the low poly style, is I'll add another plane and you don't have to scale this one up well you can uh, but you can do it manually so I'll just go SX and SY maybe something like this for one mountain um, and then you can press 7 on your numpad and you can start ma making like a cliff look <coughs> with the knife tool so press K for the knife tool and then I'll do just something like this just cut in where you want it to be just like that and then you can go into face select mode up here or press 3 on your keyboard delete this face and then you can just extrude up and you'll get this kind of a cliff look now uh, the top part should definitely be changed and uh, this is why we have our character scale so if you press Z go into wireframe mode you can see that this is two units tall so you can uh, scale the mountain uh, however big you want it I'll go for something like this so that's two uh, four six six uh, units tall well, it will be in Unity. I just realized I wanted to make some kind of side bumps and shit, so I'll just go back into the plane mode, and uh, I'll go to the knife tool again, and I'll just make something like this here, and maybe on the other side as well, so something like this. And then, again, delete those faces, and then extrude up. Okay, that looks a lot better. Uh, for the top part, I'll just add... Uh, a loop cut with Control R, add another one, and then you can maybe like scale this one or scale on the Y axis only, and then G and uh, Y to move it to the front, so you can get something like that. Of course, you can add more loop cuts, uh, and then S Y to scale and G Y to move it, uh, so you get quite a nice look. Just play around with it; it's quite simple to do, and you should be able to do it. So, for example, this would be Cliff uh, One and I might just create a different one uh, so I'll add another uh, plane I'll scale it to roughly the same size as this one it doesn't have to be but you know it helps um, just like that uh, and I'll just create another one real quick so maybe I want one with kind of a, a dent in the middle or something like that so 
something like this. Just click randomly, you'll be fine. Um, it'll be quite cool. So I'll, I'll go into face select mode now and delete the excess here. Extrude up and I'll uh, enable snapping. I'll try and go for roughly the same size, so six units tall. And then I'll do the same thing. So add one loop cut here, one loop cut here, SY to scale, move it to the front. Maybe that's a bit too much. And then I'll uh, do something like this. Select these faces in here by holding Alt, SY, move it to the back and get something like that. Maybe I'll add another one down here, SY, and move it back. Something like that. So I would have Cliff 2. You can definitely go and create more. I think 2 will do fine for me. But as I already said, feel free to make however many you want. Okay, now I'd like to create some rocks for the scene. Uh, maybe to blend between the terrain and the cliff. I can place some little rocks there. Um, we'll start with the smallest rocks that you can place just about every anywhere. So I'll go to the, I'll create a new plane uh, and uh, maybe like a rock, just some rocks that will be laying around, some small rocks. So I can just uh, create something like this and move it uh, on Shift Z. So G, Shift uh, Z and it will always move on a flat plane. Uh, G, Shift, Z, maybe something like that, and then extrude it up, and S to scale. So that could be like a small rock that will be on the ground, and then you can uh, duplicate that, rotate it, scale it, just place a bit of them around, and then you would have something like this. So just some rocks that you can place on the ground. Uh, so I'll name these like small uh, rocks, or rock small, a one. You can definitely create more. I'll just go for one. Uh, this is just so I can show you what, what they will do. Then we will have some medium rocks. And I like to create these by creating the icosphere like this. And of course, use our scale to see. I think that's pretty good. Um, I'll go into face select mode. Uh, B to box select. And I'll select the bottom part. Delete the faces. And uh, you can hold alt to select this loop. Press F3 on your uh, keyboard and uh, you can um, grid fill. I think that's what the name is. Yeah. And it will create a nice fill in there. You could just fill it normally, but that's, you know. Uh, I'll also press G and Z to move it down so it kind of clips through the ground a bit. And then in sculpt mode, you can create a rock uh, however you like. Uh, you can add more detail. You can add a subdivision surface if, you, if you'd like. Um, I don't think that's necessary, so I'll just create something like this. So I have a nice rock. So this will be rock medium uh, one, and why not? You can just duplicate it and create a different variation of it in sculpt mode. So something like this. So maybe this part pops up, and then this one goes down, and this one pops up. Something like that. So that will be rock two. So now we got these two rocks, which are pretty cool. And this one is a bit uh, different, so I'll try and make some big rocks just so we have them. I'll press G and Z and move this cube in edit mode uh, roughly to up here. Um, and you can see it's about the size of the character, which is uh, what I want. And you can add a subdivision surface modifier to it, increase the levels to two maybe, and then add a displace, uh, create a new texture, and then go to this texturing tab, change this to clouds, and then you can, you see you can you can get some pretty different results. Also in the modifiers tab on the displays you can click edit mode here and you'll be able to preview it in edit mode and you can see how it kind of changes. Um, since I would like the top part to be kind of flat, I'll do this. And you can also delete the bottom face so it kind of has something like that. So this is definitely a way you can edit the texture here. So maybe the size you can go higher if you want. A bit of a less sharp thing and you can edit the sharpness with the depth um, just some cool things you can do you can change the type to hard and you will get something like that but this makes it very easy for you to uh, get different rocks uh, I'll name this one rock big uh, one and I'll duplicate it uh, apply the modifiers on the first one because I, I like how it looks uh, and on the second one you can just go to the texture and change the um, 
the seed of it. You can also change the noise basis so you, you can get some different uh, type of things on it. So I'll go for something like this and again after you uh, apply the modifiers you can go back and edit it, see uh, what, fit, what, what works for you, uh, maybe make some small changes, and stuff like that. So now we have uh, a small rock, two medium rocks and a big rock which is pretty cool. Uh, next I'll create some dead trees maybe. So I'll enable the scale here, I'll create a new cube, I'll go into edit mode, go into vertex select mode up here, M at center to merge all the vertices at once, press E and Z to extrude one up and then with that object selected you can add a, a subdivision surface if you want to and a skin modifier and now wherever you move this that's where it's gonna go. So for a small dead tree, I would probably just move it to about there and you can scale these by pressing Control A like this to change the thickness of it and then I would create one like this maybe, something like that and one like that. So that will be my like one of my dead trees. Uh, I think it's a bit too thick in some places but that's fine. So this will be like a tree dead uh, one and again uh, you can duplicate it, apply the modifiers on the first one and this will be tree dead 2 and then you can just play around with the value, maybe this one has a uh, small branch down here and this branch kind of moves down or something like that. Uh, this one doesn't go that way, now it goes that way and you can have, you can easily create more trees uh, if you want to. With this technique you can probably just create some uh, dead bushes as well. So I'll go like bush dead one and for a bush I'll probably just uh, do a very thin maybe something like this uh, and then I would add maybe this and here. So that could be like a dead bush, maybe add something like that. Right, you can create more if you'd like, you can create uh, none of them if you want to. Of course apply the modifiers on all of them. So now it would be time to color them. Uh, what we can do is just use any material that we have. So we'll just need one uh, and material preview you can see the material. So Z and material preview. Okay I'll go to the shading tab. If you don't have the shading tab you can just pull out a window. Oh my bad. You can just pull out a window down here and change it to uh, shader editor and now with the object selected that has the material you'll be able to see it. All we have to do is add a image texture to it and I'll decrease the specular on the material as well. Uh, these are the same settings, this one and this one are the same. Uh, and then I will open up my uh, base color and we have that one base color palette here from when we were making our character and uh, I already added a sand texture to it for some reason but if you didn't you can go to texture paint tab or just down here change to um, texture image editor no not that one yeah it'll be image editor and then you will go to paint here and open up the texture you want to edit color so I'll just change that um, in here I don't know what a sandy color is um, we already have one of those. Also change the fall off on your brush to uh, hard so you can do these hard colors. I'll go for something like that and then in the UV editing tab uh, you can actually do all of the um, all of the material uh, all of the models at once so you can just select them uh, excluding the scale one. Uh, go into edit mode by pressing tab uh, press U unwrap and then just press A here to select and place them all into this thing. Now if you take a look, uh, just one will have color and that's because uh, we didn't apply the material to all the, all the uh, assets. So just go from material to material and add the, or sorry, go from model to model and add the asset like that. You can definitely add more variety. I'll just go uh, with all things have the same color kind of theme um, so that's good you can see now that uh, our cliffs have the same color as the ground these small rocks have them as well uh, and there's the small small rocks maybe the rock should have a 
a bit of a darker color than the ground but I'll keep it this way for some reason we did our scale anyways uh, for the dead trees for example I would add another color uh, so I would add like a darkish brown uh, almost a dead brown something like that just add it in there and then in the UV editing select the tree tree by holding control uh, bush I think that's all we got so um, just move them over like that and you'll have to assign the materials again material material and the bush and needs the material okay uh, and you can see I kind of moved the texture wrong so oh yeah it's outside of the, the color there we go so you can see we've got some pretty easy uh, assets to make and they look pretty cool we could use them uh, now when it comes to exporting them um, you'll have to move them all to their initial position a very easy way to do that is just to select everything press W set origin to 3d cursor which is this kind of thing here and if you want to center it, you can press shift C um, and then you can press W origin or sorry uh, W and uh, geometry to origin and it will kind of place them in here now some of them will be centered wrong for example this uh, plane is fine so we'll be selected I'll do one by one so rock big I'll just move them a bit up rock medium just move them up a bit as well rock small is fine uh, the trees are definitely too low and the bush uh, so we'll do the bush like that we'll deselect the bush just kind of move them all up um, then we have the cliffs which will play something like that and now you have them all select them with a rx minus 90 apply the location rotation and scale make sure you applied all the modifiers that you had uh, and uh, now you can export them one by one by selecting it export fbx and then save it where you want it of course select mesh selected objects fbx unit scale and this would be my bush dead one okay uh, you will be able to download all of these again I'll put a link to it in the description same as I did last video and uh, yeah just to save you some time if you really don't know don't want to create these and of course we should uh, save these as the thing so tutorials assets um, and I'll save this as nature or something like that in there good Okay, that's it for this video. Next time we'll be doing some buildings and shit like that. So join me then. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that's it. Bye-bye.